Hi, Bond1 here. If you've been following the updates to FPS Creator on the uh, Google Code page, you'll see that with this uh, latest revision, I've added a new feature that lets you uh, swap in post-process shaders out through scripting uh, in real time during your games. The, the name of the effect, or the uh, command is called set post effect equals X, where X equals the name of the uh, post-process shader that you want to load in, which is very, very useful. Now you're not stuck with a single post-process shader for your whole game. So if you go over to your effect bank folder, you'll see that there is a new folder called post-process. Let's open it up and you'll see I've graciously provided you with lots and lots of really, really neat post-process effects. I'm going to show you some of these and what you can do. And uh, if you were to add your own, this is the uh, folder you would put them in. And uh, now if we go over to our uh, script bank folder, to get you started, I've also added a folder called post effects. And it has a bunch of scripts in here to, to uh, get you started. Um, the easiest way to see these is just apply these scripts to a trigger zone and they will trigger the uh, different effects. But you can uh, pretty much script these any way you want. So let's just take a look at one of the scripts. Um, here it is for an uh, effect called Film Reel, which I'm, I'm going to show you shortly. It's very, very cool. You just see that um, you apply this to a trigger zone and set post effect equals Film Reel. That's the name of the uh, effect file in the uh, folder I showed you previously. And that's it. Uh, you can uh, swap in as many shaders as you want and swap them out. If you don't want any effect at all, you can just put set post effect equals none. And it will, you know, just cancel the effects altogether. Otherwise, you just change it to uh, any uh, post process shader that's in the post process folder. So I'm going to show you some of these effects coming up here. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are in the good old Metro Theater. Just beyond these doors I've got a trigger zone set up. Uh, so let's step back in time to the 1920s. Here we go. Really neat Happy film guy, reel effect. Great for and horror games or flashbacks or uh, anything like that. And if I step back through the doors, it's gonna. Go, I've got another trigger zone set up. It's gonna go back to normal. Yeah, there is how it works. You can swap in post shaders and uh, do whatever you want. Okay, this next effect is a night vision effect, and in the script I have it mapped to my N key so I can toggle it on and off. Just like that. Pretty authentic effect, I think. It looks uh, really neat. Now if I go back here, it looks pretty dark. I'm uh, afraid to go back there, so let's turn on my night vision. Now I can see and we can see in the darkness back here there's a cluster of zombies hiding so uh, with my trusty night vision I don't have to be afraid of the dark pretty neat effect alright let's try another one this one I call motion sickness so I'm gonna step ahead here and trigger this and we see we get this dizzy, blurry, like blurred vision effect. This would be really good f to trigger this shader when your character's health or the player's health gets low and you kind of get dizzy and your vision is blurry and uh, I've seen this effect a lot in uh, newer games. So that would be a cool effect to trigger when your player is uh, really weak or near death. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to step ahead here and trip this effect that I call Surreal. There it is. It gives everything kind of a blurry, dreamy-like effect. This would be good for, I think, like a dream sequence or something like that, where everything kind of looks surreal. Uh, pretty neat effect. I like this one.
Okay, and here is a gas mask effect. I've got the map to the G key. You can toggle it on and off, so let's try it. There it is. It kind of looks like you're looking through a mask. If you've played the game Metro 2033, it's got a very similar effect. You see the edges of the screen kind of get refracted. It looks like you're looking through this lens or mask. And you could set it up if your player has to go through a uh, toxic area that you need to use a gas mask. Okay, and that'll do it. Um, again, if you want to add your own shaders to use this new command, uh, just go into the Effect Bank Post Process folder and uh, you can just place your effect file in here if you are savvy in writing HLSL shaders. You can see there's a lot of other effects here that you can try on your own that I didn't show in the video that are really pretty cool. So give them a try, and uh, like I said, if you like writing your own shaders, just place them in this folder and uh, have fun with it. Thanks. Bye-bye.